basically what Swift is, is a platform for brands to deeply engage with millennial and teenage consumers on mobile messaging apps. So we do it in a variety of different ways with a variety of different products. So everything from branded emoji and branded stickers to um, branded chat interfaces and even contests within the messaging environment. So we reach about 3 billion users worldwide across 60 plus messaging apps today. Um, and we're really excited about the future of mobile. You have, you truly are a millennial. Yeah, I'm smack dab in that, right. in that age group. So how does it feel that, um, you know, we're moving on from millennials and now we're talking about Generation Z is yeah, always talking. Yeah. Do you, getting, get, you feel a little bit older about my that? Knees, my knees are starting to hurt again. Yeah. Uh, uh, but you know, it's cool. And I think, um, you know, as brands think about, you know, you know, you know, obviously, millennial, millennial is such a buzzword. Um, now they're getting older. They have more purchasing power, which is great. Right. But there's this next group, right? The teenagers, the Gen Zs, that um, I think you know they're clearly on mobile um, across a bunch of different apps. But historically, brands have kind of struggled to engage them in an, an effective way. Um, I heard an interesting quote the other day at the Mobile Media Summit in New York, talking about how you know teenagers and millennials will tolerate interruptions in whatever experience it is, but they'll completely ignore them, mm -hmm. right? So that's not a very valuable um, advertising for a brand. Um, so I think one of the biggest challenges facing brands today, as you're looking at this teenage group, is how do you connect with them in these environments they're spending so much time in, but also um, it's not just gonna be pushing your brand on them from a banner ad, a pop-up, an interstitial, whatever it is. Um, it's really about emotionally connecting with them um, because these teens and younger millennials, uh, they're ready, willing, and able to share fun, cool content. And the platforms they're on like, make it super easy to do that. Um, so it's all about brands trying to find the right way to integrate with them. So here you are, a college student, and you have this epiphany that there's a business behind emojis. Um, what was the lightning in the bottle? What, yeah. how, what, 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 was there any moment that just said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise money. I'm going to figure this out. Yeah. And this is the <laughs> business model. What, what, what was the inspiration for that? Uh, so I think the biggest thing for, for me was, so I played football at Notre Dame, and I saw how crazy fans were around the football program specifically. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I was in college was when the emoji usage on text messaging was just going through the roof. And to be honest, the way Swift ultimately started was we thought it would be really cool to send a Notre Dame leprechaun. Mm. Um, we quickly found out about something called licensing. <laughs> um, so, uh, Which is just lots of fun. Oh, it's a blast. So, yeah. um, so we went down that route, uh, got our first license from Notre Dame. So you were able to get the license yeah, from Notre Dame. Yeah, we were fortunate enough to get it. Um, which was great. It was a nice initial step for us. and. Um, just you know, the beginning of the pain. Yeah, exactly. So, but then we just started licensing a ton of other colleges. Right. And um, I think, like you were saying, was kind of when the light bulb went off is when um, I remember having a conversation with my co-founder saying, you know, hey, we could, you know, colleges are great, but pro sports fans are crazy too. We could do it for every pro sports team. And then, oh, well, we could do international sports teams. And then, oh man, we could do movies and entertainment because people are crazy about that too. And then it just kind of started snowballing until it got to the point where, um, and I don't think we knew it at the time, but as we, you know, Swift kept growing, it's like, you know, emoji are one really cool way for brands to, again, emotionally connect with millennials and younger Gen Zs in an environment that they're in all the time, which is messaging, but doing it in a way that doesn't feel like traditional advertising. Well, it, it did feel like traditional advertising because you built a content platform. You built a content inventory mm -hmm. that was non-commercial. Right. With the different sports brands right. and the like. And then by bringing the brands in, they didn't stick out like a sore thumb. Right, and I think that was that was the whole thing, right? Is, is um, so all, all of our messaging apps that we work with, uh, you know, they have 100 million, 200 million, some of 500 million users. Again, really young users, but none of them support traditional mobile advertising. Um, and the reason is because the last thing you want when you're texting your buddy about going to grab beers is to have you know, a pop-up before you can send that text message. Right. right? A pre-roll video before right. you send that text message. So um, it was a super highly engaged environment, but one that was really difficult for brands to enter in without frankly pissing off <laughs> the users. Mm -hmm. um, so the messaging app didn't want them to come mm -hmm. in that way as well. So 
what it evolved into is basically giving brands a, a portal into this super engaging environment and then also helping all these messaging apps effectively monetize their users mm -hmm. with advertising without losing the users. Yeah, right? being cool. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. A lot of times uh, users don't even know that it's an advertisement. They think, oh, this is a really like awesome, I can send a beer emoji now. But yeah. really it's awesome, I can send a beer emoji of Miller Lite who right. paid to sponsor it around the Super Bowl and right. got a ton of engagement.